Hi, welcome back. In my previous video, we loaded MeshTastic 2.6 on the Lily Go T deck and really, really makes this device stand out. I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, so let's switch it on here. It takes a second. Yeah, almost there. This is wonderful. Okay, yeah, so the home screen, it's really cool. The home screen is you can do stuff right off of the home screen. You can go to the messages. That just takes you down here to the messages. And you can see here I was chatting with 2088. Hello, hi. Let's go back. Messages long, fast as the main channel. And the window node sent out a happy Saturday message. Let's look see what else we can do at home. Let's scroll through here. I want to sound banner only, banner and sound. So that's your notification settings. There's some other stuff grayed out here. It looks like I don't have a GPS device. Looks like Wi-Fi is off. Oh, okay. There was no signal. That's scary. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Wi-Fi is off. There's some other stuff here. No SD card. But that stuff's grayed out. I can't really, can't really touch that. Then here's the node. Oh no, that's the channel list. Okay. So when I click on the channel, you see there's the chat from that channel. I just have the main long fast channel loaded there. This is messages. So yeah, I had the conversation with long with 2088. And then where is it? Oh yeah, there's long fast. 2088 sent out happy Saturday. Let's see. Let's look at the map. So you have to zoom in. I'm going to have to figure out how to put a SD card with a map for the background here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you can do that. I just don't know how yet. I was Googling that this morning and it, it didn't, didn't quite work out. Okay. Yeah, 42 nodes. Awesome. Okay, so here's settings. We see username. And of course, we were guided to set region and username right out of the box. If you watched the previous video, previous video shows how to uh, load the image, etc. Okay, modem preset. Let's just click in there. Okay, frequency slot 20, long fast frequency slot 20. Let's see, yeah, channel long fast. Could select other channels. I want to go out of here. Take me back. Okay, primary channel. Let's go along fast. <sighs> Interested. I feel like I'm stuck here somehow. Yeah, it's, I'm stuck. Okay, so this 2.6 image is... <laughs> is is a technical preview so uh, you might see something like that i can't explain what i just saw it just wouldn't let me exit so i'm gonna power off and power on again okay we won't go into that one again channel long fast fast device role client I just manually type the device roll in. Wi-Fi is not set. Screen timeout is 30. And let's see. I don't know what lock on off is. Hmm. Screen lock, settings lock, lock pin. Okay, so you can lock it and set a pin. Wow, so that, <laughs> that makes your device private. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Screen back screen brightness, theme dark. The battery life was pretty cool. Um, I have an 18650 battery in this case, and I just left it on all day, and it was on all the way into the next morning. Uh, easily, you know, 24 hours of service from the battery. Message alert default. It's got a cute little chirp when it gets a message. We'll experiment with that. Uh, language setting, configuration reset, backup and restore, reboot, and shutdown. Let's see under tools. There's a mesh detector. Let's see if we can see something exciting here. It, it's 
takes a long time, and I think it's just waiting for messages to come in from other nodes for some reason. Yeah, because it'll spin like this for a while, and then we'll see something pop up. I might crop some of this out, but I'm going to wait until I see something. See, there's your 30-second screen timeout. <laughs> yeah, still, this is... What what an improvement for the uh, uh, Lily Go T deck. Yeah, just amazing. Now, I want you to stay tuned. I got this sense cap indicator. It's like a desktop node. It, it, it looks like an alarm clock or something. You know, put it on your nightstand in case you got to get on the mesh right away. It doesn't have a battery in it, so it's it's tied to some USB brick. Oh, let's see. Oh, it fell asleep. Huh. I don't know. That was weird. I was expecting to see that it was flashing up names of other devices before it didn't just go to that panel like that. Run it again here. Okay. Well, you're welcome to play with this. I'm I I I'm out of patience. <laughs> okay, let's see what else there is. Signal scanner. So I'm gonna choose a node. For some reason, it's I don't want to filter. I don't know why it's filtering. I don't know how to clear the filter. Filter. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's me. I can't scan me. Yeah, it's not gonna... Not gonna work. Let's see what happens if I find a node and hold on to it. See if I can do the same thing from here. No, that gets you a message. Let's go back here. Let's see. Yeah, so if you click on a node, it expands, and if it has other information on it, then you get to see that as well. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so if you press and hold, then you get to send a dm to it okay so this brings me back to my chats long fast yeah we already saw that let's go back here tools huh. here <laughs> tools trace route sure why not Here we go. And then it goes to sleep on me. Oh. Oh, okay, that's cool. So if I click here, this one gives me the pick list. Let's find something interesting. Mount Lemon. There we go. Let's trace route to Mount Lemon. I'm using the actual patch antenna. It's about this big laying across the back of the case. It's about, like, it's actually a cell phone antenna. It's a flat ribbon. And it actually went to Mount Lemon all by itself. But this time, I went through 20A8. Yeah, my window node. My window node is just like right over here. <laughs> but Okay, so we got to see trace route. Let's see what else we got here. Tools, statistics. Interesting. You know, we want to delve into stuff about 
yeah, about the other nodes. Let's go back. Tools. Packet log. It'll take a second for something to happen. Oh, there's a packet right there. Cool. Telemetry packet from Tuba. Let's see if I can make some noise on my other device here. Oh, and there's your message banner, too. You get to hear the chirp, too. That was cute. Hello. So we can see that's lit up because there's a new message there. Now you can see just the interface is just so much more useful. Uh, watch, watch my old video. I, I showed uh, I've I've showed the Lily Go T deck running the previous versions of Mesh Tastic, and it's like this is like Van Gogh compared to stick figures. I think that's about the best way I can think of describing it. <laughs> you know, you're going so we went from stick drawings to Van Gogh. So congratulations to the Mesh Tastic development team. Uh, they've been working on this for over a year, apparently. Uh, look for the links down below to the blog, etc. And uh, give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you watch more of my Meshtastic videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much. <laughs>